And they'll snap off, shake it back and forth, and it pops out. And I'll have the guys making sure that no, no seams are bust, busting out. We'll put it to the test at three o'clock, see if it can hold all the concrete. If we have a blowout, we'll end up with concrete that's flooding the whole living room. Then, Oh, oh my God. Oh. Nice in the stress, man. So it looks like this gave way. Didn't go as well. We had a blowout on this side. Are you expecting this today? No, man. Definitely not. Not this, not the camera. <laughs> I see this on YouTube all the time and I'm like, oh, this is cool to watch. Being on the other side, I don't know yet. It's it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> I think it's cool to let people see the industry. Yeah, yeah he did a good job. I know, but look at what they did. <laughs> <laughs> let me call the bus. Little bit windy today. We're still in a lupine <laughs> from yesterday. No, we are lower. We have a couple of inspections we already passed. Today we are pouring concrete, decoration concrete. It's going to be decor. This model, Shimizu, has it by the front area where the garage has it kind of L shape, decor, uh, accent wall. The first model when we created, remember last year, we did it fireplace. It's so beautiful. form is going to hold 8,000 pounds of concrete and last year they put the braces to the decking and when the concrete started pushing on the forms it pushed the whole deck over. So this year I'm trying to avoid that by putting uprisers in the ground to attach the forms to instead of the deck. It's about two cubic yards is going to be poured into these forms which is equivalent to about 8,000 pounds. My truck weighs like 5,000 pounds so okay. It's like my whole truck and a half. <laughs> yeah. The screws is just uh, it's an extra support for the concrete to grab onto the form to. It doesn't work like lath or rebar. It's just uh, hopefully help just with the structural ability of the concrete. And I'll have the guys making sure that no, no seams are bust, busting out and uh, they'll use the vibrator. Make sure all the concrete settles to the bottom, all the nooks and crannies. Looks it. like got level right there. We are using two by six duck for all those seams. It's gonna be visible in a final finish, but mix, it's special mix. Bryce, what kind of mix you order it? Can you tell a little bit? It's gonna be pea gravel. Pea gravel. Pea gravel, and then six sack concrete, and five slump. Five slump. So how many uh, yards you order it? Six. Six yards. So to make this job, we order it six yards. Okay. So I'll have a uh, about three inch hose coming in through the front door and we'll drag it up into the attic with me and pump concrete.
Okay, so over here they're gonna pour concrete too. Accent wall. We'll come back later and take a look at what they've done. These are gonna hold the concrete. So here we're pouring an accent wall on the front of the house. This one's a little bit different though. It's made out of plywood and then inside we have these spacers. But right here it has a little indent. So we'll just bend this and it'll snap off and you're left with just a circle hole in your concrete. The little cone comes out. We hit it with a hammer to loosen this plastic piece. Mm -hmm. And then we just shake it back and forth and it pops out, leaving this cylinder. So each one of those clips goes on the outside of the plywood like this, pushing it, holding it tight. We're doing braces, doing kickers, up risers, everything in order to keep it strong. We'll put it to the test at three o'clock, see if it can hold all the concrete. If we have a blowout, where if the concrete wall comes apart, we'll end up with concrete flooding the whole living room. Okay. You see where the play button is? Yeah. First play. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look at this. Bryce in this dress, man. Before, this whole deck got pushed off on a different house from the concrete, from the sheer weight. So this time we put beams into the ground, about two, three feet, in order to help support the wall from being pushed back. And then I have these kickers running all the way to the ground. And the fireplace, it's see-through. So you can be indoor or outdoor, you still see the fire, okay? And the sliding door, you can, you can uh, open all the way this is the great room and look at this huge deck. So pretty much it's editing the squirrel footage for party. I like the party. <laughs> like the tube itself is heavy. And then plus the concrete inside. It's right. Even just right here, it's probably like 30 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> This piece of sheetrock from the ceiling was removed. It was removed from over there. And they're gonna pour the concrete from up top. It's gonna go down into this frame. You ready for a good video? Here we go. Shem's products are the best. <laughs> Sarah just made a new fucking sweater. <laughs> uh, Shout out to Tanya and Eddie. <laughs> Shout out to Tanya and Eddie. <laughs> I don't know their company's name. <laughs> screen printing here, the company name. The screen printing here. By the way, you did a great job. I know, but look at what they did. I see it. It's a, they fixed it. But they fixed it. Do you think I can take my jacket today? Oh, no. no. No, okay. Oh, you take your jackets, come out, everything. <laughs> take a picture for Tanya, Eddie, and uh, you let them know I need a new jacket. I need a new yeah, jacket. we got it. I need a jacket. You're yes. going to wash this one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't think you can wash it from concrete. Yeah, probably not. No, no, no. It's, it's ready to screw no, up. Is it going to be stuck over there with Shams? No, I pull it out. Oh, it's ready it? connected. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's pushed like like one inch already in the middle. So we got to put something there and let's try to brace it. Stick or something in the exhaust or something. 
Four by sixes and it's starting to bend the four by six. Okay. There's two more feet to go. And they're done. Oh, oh my god. So all those screws came out. Look at this. Bryce in the stress, man. Look at Bryce. Look, look at this. He's thinking, like, what happened? <laughs> Why? What's going on? <laughs> it's a lot of concrete. It's like core, core. Oh, ever go. Garbage bags. Let's try to do what we can, but we, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because <laughs> the next problem is, is I have oh. concrete. Because the next problem is, is I have concrete still he's holding here, you know, this high. Clean out this a little bit, take out even these boards, pull out. It's crazy. Push as much as you can, like you can, okay, whatever. Put some more bolts here, and then put two, three, then like put one, and then, and like, here's all the beam. But look at this. His shine, I can see it. He's in a stress, I can see it. But search not there. And he's he got it. He take the decision, doesn't matter. You know, he got the decision. This is what we gotta do. So but what I can see it in this footage, I can see those guys handle it. You know, you can see it. So it looks like this gave way. All right, man, we just finished up our pour. So the inside one went really well. The outside one didn't go as well. So here we go. We have the kickers. It held up, but we had a blowout on this side. So in order to keep going, we just did a quick patch, added a couple more boards, some lag bolts, and then waited a couple minutes and then kept pouring. Um, after we take out the forms, we'll check it out. We'll have to do some corrections. We'll just end up cutting it with a grinder, smooth it out. Anyway, they haven't put siding yet. They haven't put trim yet. Inside. Yeah, inside went really well though. Um, that went flawless. Everything poured. Um, everything stayed straight. It's turned out really, really well. No, Bryce did a good job. Yeah, he did a good job. Yeah, I think he, he got, what I see it's the last bra braces we put, we should put more support. This is what happened, it's disconnect, disconnection from uh, forms, from actually the structural wall, start disconnect and start pulling the even deck, you know. <laughs> this has happened by the way twice. Everybody got to learn, right? We learn in our mistakes. Okay, so uh, they give you 48 minutes to dump six, Okay. Six yards. It was 142 minutes extra. Oh, yeah. hundreds. So, okay. You, you see, they beat the records. In car, for Shem, so they have an account. <laughs> do you have an account? Yes. Okay. Yes, we do. We have an account. Let me call the bus. Look at this. He definitely needs a new T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'll tell you, Bryce, you did an amazing job. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah, who cares about the sweaters? You can print another one, I right? Know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can pick up one. Yeah, he can. Hey, how's it? Good yeah, job. So man. good job. Yeah. Bryce, cheers for you. <laughs>